If you're committed enough to somebody to share a child with them, then you can share a bank account. I know that this opinion is probably going to get me a lot of hate comments, but I have a pretty strong opinion and will be certainly teaching my kids that if you're married to someone or committed to somebody for life, and you should definitely be sharing money. Since the moment that Hunter and I got married, we have shared finances. And one of the biggest reasons for this is because we knew that we wanted to equivalently contribute to the household. And no, that does not mean financially. This does not mean that we were always bringing in the same financial amount, but it does mean that the roles that we had when it came to our household were were equally as important. Yes, I think this is the case even before you have kids, but if you are to the point where you are committed enough to someone who literally create a life together, there is no reason that you should be fighting over who pays for the groceries. When Hunter and I got married, we were only 20 years old, and when I say that we were broke as a joke, I am not kidding. Both of us had dropped out of college. I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do with my life yet. However, I did know that my ultimate goal was to be a mom and to basically make $0. This is something that Hunter and I both were really passionate about and agreed on. He was in the beginning stages of starting his company, so he was literally taking losses every year at that point. I was working a nine to five because I wasn't having kids yet. So at the beginning, I was actually the one making more money. However, I knew that ultimately Hunter would certainly be the one who was providing for our household. So I certainly wasn't going to feel entitled to be able to spend the majority of the money that we were making at the time or feel like it was mine or that I was more entitled to it just because he was building his company at the time and I was working. This can also be the case if one of the spouses is going to school and the other is working, but maybe the other person is in medical school or they're going to start a business after they go to school and their earning potential is actually higher than the one who's working at the beginning of the marriage. The point in saying this is that income is going to ebb and flow and the spouse who makes more is probably going to change over time and over the course of the marriage. So maybe you're the spouse who actually makes more in your relationship right now and that makes you a little bit more hesitant to share money. I just want to caution you because when your spouse starts to outmake you and maybe you want to settle down and have kids or your career goes in a different direction, are you going to want to share money at that point? obviously not naive to the fact that there are special circumstances when maybe finances should not be shared or a prenup should be involved or maybe you get married a lot later in life and you have different assets that are maybe divided with a previous spouse or something like that where it's just not appropriate to share money. But this is the advice that I would give someone who's getting married for the first time when they're like 20 years old and you're both starting out with the same net worth. Hunter and I do have the best therapist in the entire world and we've been pretty fortunate that money really hasn't been a topic of arguing in our relationship. However, I do think that even if you share money, you do need to be able to have some freedom with your finances that don't need to be approved with your spouse. That's obviously important just as respect for one another. And I think this should be the case even if one of the spouses isn't working because you are equivalently contributing to the household even if that doesn't mean your finances are equivalent. I just really believe that everything should be yours. If a mother is staying at home with her kids, those kids are still just as much the fathers as they are the mothers, just the same as if the dad is the one bringing in the income, that money is just as much the mothers. Our therapist helped Hunter and I figure out monthly budgets based on what we make and how much we put away. He helped us figure out an appropriate amount that Hunter and I are both able to spend every single month that we do not have to discuss with the other person. We can literally spend it on whatever we want and that has definitely given us a lot of freedom in our marriage and all Hunter and I have to do is trust that the other person is gonna be honest and not go over budget. That's been a great way for us to feel like we have a lot of freedom with our money, even though we still share everything. I know that a lot of people are going to strongly agree with this video and a lot of people are going to strongly disagree with it. So I am really curious to hear what your guys' experiences have been with sharing money or maybe you and your spouse don't share money. I wanna hear that experience too. At the end of the day, I just strongly believe that if you can commit to somebody in every other area of your life, you can also commit to them financially. Love you. Bye.